Okay, good. We're just going to see if Natalie Bennett's here. Yeah. Yeah. So. mainstream media but here we've got democracy um, that's not happening outside of the square apparently so we're gonna create it and give it to the Green Party leader. Thank you. Well thank you very much and I love a debate and this is a proper debate so well done for everybody for being here and putting it on. Well done. Because there's something I'm going around the country saying to everybody and it's something I'm sure everyone who's here knows but we've got to get the message out to everybody and the message is very simply politics should be something that you do not something that is done to you and this morning I was on the TUC march and well done and a special cheer to everyone here who has been on that march before me. Well done. And I didn't hear the numbers, but someone said 100,000. I don't know, but it was big anyway. It was massive. <laughs> 150,000, okay. I, I, I was only walking in it. It's rather hard to tell from the middle. <laughs> but you know, what was great to see there was lots of... I saw some midwives. The midwives who so brilliantly for the first time in their 133 year history came out on strike and said enough, we're fed up. So well done to the midwives. And I'm sure many of you, like me, were out there on those picket lines on Monday morning. And yes, it was raining, but hey, the spirits were high. And the fact is what the midwives, what those workers marching today, what so many other people are saying is that Austerity has failed. Our economic system has failed us all and it has to radically change. We have to stop the poor, the disadvantaged and the young having to pay for the errors and fraud of the bankers. Enough! Yeah. And of course we've got a social crisis too. A crisis of inequality. The rich just keep getting richer and the rest of us keep getting poorer. And that's why in the Green Party we're calling for a wealth tax. The rich have to give something back. And what we're also calling for are decent wages. The minimum wage should be a living wage. If you work full time you should get enough money to live on. It's a basic right. But of course we've got an environmental crisis too. The astonishing thing is, despite the fact that so many people in Britain are going short, we've also got, in Britain, all of us collectively are using the resources of three planets, but we've only got one planet. So we have to tackle that environmental crisis. We have to change their, our ways. And that means that the people who consume a lot have to give up a lot, and the people who haven't got enough now have to get more. There's the political crisis, and that's something that you're really here doing something about. Because the fact is, our politics isn't working. People, I said on the uh, Women's Hour, that well-known radical program a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> I said on Women's Hour, people are just fed up. And it was really interesting, because that's what Twitter really picked up. And people are just utterly fed up with over there. They've had enough with them and their utter failure to represent the people they're supposed to represent. So what we need to do is to really reform politics, utterly change politics. Reform of government. Well, okay, I'm getting to that. Give me a second. <laughs> what we what we need. Hey, let me start. Let me start with Scotland, and let's praise the people of Scotland. 97% of them enrolled to vote in the referendum, and 85% of them came out to vote. What? I'm sure it's light. I'm, my head's tough enough, don't worry. Uh, but the people of Scotland got involved. And one of the things I thought most exciting about Scotland was there was a group called Carers for Yes. And some of the people who've got the toughest lives in our society, family carers paid £60 a week for working 24-7, caring for family members day after week after
after month after year and they got themselves organised politically and that's what we want to see right across the United Kingdom every group organised politically So what we're calling for sir, and this gets to your point up the back what we're calling for is a People's Constitutional Convention to draw people from across Britain by lot, bring them together and say, draw up for us a new constitution for Britain. Because the fact is, over there, it hasn't really changed in a hundred years. You know the last real reform there was over there? It was women getting the vote. And that was 1918. So let's not get to the century without a reform after that. So, we've got the economic crisis, the social crisis, the environmental crisis, and the political crisis. You bring all of those together and you can say, oh, isn't it terrible? They're all happening at the same time. But actually, I say no. Let's celebrate. Let's take advantage of the fact that our entire system has clearly failed. Neo-Saturite, neoliberal politics has failed. We need a huge, big, sudden change in the way we think about politics, think about economics, think about our society. And we need to simply say that everyone in our society needs access to the resources for a decent quality of life and we have to do that within the limits of one planet. And we have to do that with everybody having a say on how it all works out. So well done, let's go and do some politics.